Welcome to Nostalgia, comrade. Today we are looking at Castaway. The beginning of the movie is set in Russia, so we are here to count coin bricks. The delivery boy sings, Anegin, I won't hide, I love Tatiana with all my heart, which is a line from Eugene Anegin opera written by Alexander Pushkin in 1831. The lyrics are studied in schools and almost everyone is familiar with the text. Okay, this is Nikolskaya Street, just near the Red Square and Kremlin. The cafe is supposed to be in Russian style. A bear, a babushka, and those black things at the wall are not pictures, they are traditional Russian tea trays from Zhostova. This is one of the most expensive property in Moscow. A family keeping a restaurant there doesn't get their kids to work as delivery boys. The memorial plate the guys are removing reads the house was frequented by Vladimir Lenin. That plate looks authentic, there were hundreds of similar inscriptions in Soviet Union. However, number 3 at Nikolskaya Street never had one. Oh, and that is the mall I was talking about in my Jackal review. Okay, he sets off towards some bezels and gets to the Moskva River. I stumbled upon this comment on moviemistakes.com and it says that the boy runs by St. Bezels, Moscow State University and Big Stone Bridge, making this a 5 hour run. Well, it looks like the movie mistakes site also has mistakes. That is Hotel Russia, a controversial Soviet addition to the Kremlin ensemble that was finally demolished and this is the Katelnicheske building, not the university even though they look somewhat similar. Which makes it the big Moskvaretsky bridge, not the big stone one. The distance is roughly 750 meters, which is not long at all. And by the way, the shape of the package and his enthusiasm about it made me think it contains an air gun, not some damn timer. So his final destination is Kalurske 14. I had to get an HD Blu-ray copy of the movie to get a clearer look at the plate, but the lower letters are still not visible. But there is no Kalushske Street in Moscow, so it's obviously Kalushske Square. His route from Nikolske Street to Kalushske Square is roughly 4 kilometers. That's a 30 minute trip for an average runner, not the 4 to 5 hours as the movie mistakes com suggests. The question that remains is why the boy is running with that parcel along Moscow landmarks? Why did the babushka sign for the parcel, not the recipient? There are no hotels on Nikolske. Did Tom Hanks' character stop at the restaurant? Perhaps that's just a plot device for the boy to earn a CD player. Well, the movie was shot in 2000, many children already had players by then. However, the plot seems to be taking place in 1995. Anyway, with his family operating a restaurant at the heart of Moscow, the boy could bait Tom Hanks in players, not vice versa. The boxes say looks one, which is derived from luxury. They probably meant first class. The interpreter sounds like a Russian who spent too many years in the States and that affects his intonation. I don't know why they didn't get a native speaker their own location. Why the car had to be stopped near St. Bezos. An average Moscovite passes by St. Bezos one or two times a year, or maybe even less. That's a tourist attraction. It's like expecting New Yorkers to take daily tours to the Statue of Liberty. What's that? A hammer and sickle? On red background? Why? The inscription says gas, which is Russian cars manufacturer, including this one, used by FedEx in the movie. Anyway, those wheel blockers are not used in Russia. In most cases, illegally parked cars are just pulled away to a special police parking. And each day spent at this parking costs a fortune in fines. So if you are not fast enough, very soon it's cheaper to buy a new car than evacuate the taken.
Iran is now at 87 hours, 22 minutes and 17 seconds. From Memphis, America to Nikolai in Russia, 87 hours. 87 hours is a shameful outrage. This is just an egg timer. Today's truck was two minutes late. Tomorrow's will be four minutes late, and then six minutes late, and eight minutes late. Next thing you know, we're the U.S. mail. Hmm. <laughs> this is so true. A priority mail package from USA arrives in about two to three weeks, but those Chinese stuff on eBay will take up to six weeks to arrive. That is longer than the 45 days PayPal allows you to start an unreceived dispute. Add the low quality of Chinese products in general, an added risk of dead on arrival item, and you'll get a pretty lousy lottery with only one victim, the customer. However, this whole idea of Tom Hanks trying to impose Western business practices in Russia is just hilarious. This completes this review. See you next time. Three hours and four minutes before the end of today's package sort. That's how long we have. That's how much time we have.